We're going to talk about the Marcus gun. Marcus gun jaw winking phenomenon. It's the same gun that, guy that does the Marcus gun pupil, which is a relative afferent pupillary defect. But the Marcus gun jaw wink is the eyelid winks when the jaw moves. And so the jaw is under control of the motor branch of the trigeminal. And so when the pterygoids fire, either the lateral or medial pterygoids or other muscles involved in your jaw, your eyelid might close. And so it causes a ptosis that's induced by jaw movement. And this is what we call a synkinesis. Syn means together. Kinesis means move. So it moves together. And so it's an abnormal wiring between the two muscles. So you move your jaw and your, your eyelid goes down. So that's why it's called the Marcus gun jaw winking phenomenon. It's a disorder that's usually discovered in childhood, obviously, because they were born with the synkinetic movement. But it tends to not appear in adults because they learn to hold their jaw in a certain way that keeps the lid up. So over time, most jaw winking people stop coming to the doctor, number one, because it's benign and there's no imaging abnormality. Number two, they learn to control their deviation over time. And it's different than aberrant regeneration where the nerve regrows to a different place. This is a congenital miswiring problem, which is called a synkinesis. It probably represents a primitive reflex that has been retained somehow in some individuals. And some people believe this actually causes ladies or men who are putting on makeup to open their mouth when they're putting their makeup on because they are uh, like that. And also, you know this when, the, when we tell the patients in the clinic to open your eyes real wide, they often open their mouths. So I think there probably is a primitive synkinetic jaw to eye connection and that just fades over time. If it doesn't, that synkinesis is called the Marcus gun jaw winking phenomenon between two cranial nerves, three and five.